I'm I'm sorry. 250k? You mean a quarter of a million dollars? I'm I must be tripping. No. 250k? No way. Damn that shit loud. Josh? Okay, hold on. It's in 4K. Or Duke. Duke! Duke! Duke. I'm, Duke. I'm sucking Duke's Duke. What? Alright, it's about to be one of those videos, bro. No way. I don't know what it is about today's day and age, but this celebrity crush thing has gone way too far. What's going on, everybody? Look, having a celebrity crush isn't something that's a big deal, isn't a new concept, and it should honestly be pretty harmless. But at some point, it gets a little bit out of hand when people would risk multiple years of a relationship for 30 seconds. River, he won the world champ championship this year. Okay, hold on. Okay. This one? This one at the top, right? Okay, okay. Alright, I'll do I'll do it after this video. Of celebrity interaction, and it's kind of getting disgusting. Now, no matter how unpopular Chris Breezy is in the mainstream media, that does not stop women from flocking towards his shows, even those in relationships, and they're willing to risk it all for whatever's going down in the B Town. Well, 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 we finally made it to the day the day when I give up all my dreams on Chris Brown. <laughs> Fuck. I don't even I don't even want to get married no more. <laughs> I don't. Now I don't know what's nastier. Saying those vows in front of your husband, in front of his entire family, and laughing yeah. off as some sort of joke. Or having the first picture in your wedding photos that you put on Instagram be a picture of you and Chris. What? What? Oh, absolutely the fuck not. Photos that you put on First picture in your no 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 we need to go all the way to fuck back your family and laughing it off as some sort of joke or having the first picture in your wedding photo I wish the fuck I would what this bitch say my Delulu came true true if you know anything about me this has been my life dream meeting my number one artist slash celebrity checked off my bucket list I've been a fan and supporter since middle school. And this nigga married her. Chris Brown was actually was the absolute nicest and most humble person to meet and actually have a real conversation with. We talked about his show and he actually asked little me for critiques. Me and my sister custom made the roses. Okay. I got to show him my wedding vows, my words. I put I put you in my vows, not on no creep shit though. Him and his aunt live. During our post, he said, does your husband approve, which he did, and we discussed it multiple times before my meeting, we good. I actually got to lock eyes and touch this man. On top of this, I had a wonderful night in the executive suites, 10 out of 10, 11 and 11 tours was my favorite night, can't wait for the next tour. I'm, door. I'm not gonna lie. Yo, bro. Yo, yo. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. This wouldn't be me. Absolutely the fuck not. Yeah, bro. No way. <laughs> no way. 
She would have got the fuck up out of there. This wouldn't have been me. She wouldn't have been absolutely not. No way. Photos that you put on Instagram be a picture of you and Chris Brown at this meeting. And he's still with her. Where you're about to make out now rightfully so this woman's been getting flamed on the internet and a lot of people have been asking why would she yeah, do corny. this chris brown corny. offers a meet and greet as his package for his 11 11 tour or really any tour that he does and fans are allowed to take pictures the cost of it is 1111 dollars 11 11. now these do not include concert ticket prices so the price of the whole experience is probably two thousand dollars and i guess a lot of women see this as in time an opportunity to just get freak nasty and take total advantage of whatever celebrity they can get even if it's sexual hell even some men do it now the only thing these fans are getting is a picture with the man a signed picture an early entry to the concert and a whole calendar fam he even did this for his last tour and this one fan keep on coming back he even made a customized shirt from the last tour like that is how dedicated they are he's doing this for 36 cities and the man is charging them 1100 times that by a hundred people per city bro dog he's making almost four mil an extra four mil for grabbing cheek motion four million dollars to just sit up there and take flicks with people bro on my life i'm there i swear i four million that's all i gotta do free free bread he's getting paid to grab on someone else's girl or just women in general because that's what they want that's crazy and taking pictures sign me up bro chris brown get in the bag and can i hate no. absolutely absolutely i ain't hating shit i ain't got shit to say about that it's just the husband's <laughs> weird hell yeah it's fun <laughs> no motherfucking pictures with your shirt off because then you can't gauge it can't what the skin person skin. it can't be yeah because you don't, you don't yeah, know what yeah, she yeah, yeah, might lick your stomach or something you gonna be like hold on, yeah, that's <laughs> hold on. <laughs> look i'm not hating on chris breezy i might do the same exact thing if i was a celebrity who uh, a lot of people, people in a certain weird. view as a sex symbol but i do think things are very interesting in this conversation for one i think that this could only fly for a male performer and his female or even male fan base where there is a lack of boundaries or personal space in these regards clearly these people are allowing chris brown to do these sorts of things and i think that that's perfectly fine however i would wonder how many women artists do meet and greets not that i'm saying i want to go to the next glow Reel or meg the stallion concert and put my bulge in their hands but I do find it interesting that we see these outrageous pictures from the men's concerts, but not the women's concerts. Cause God forbid a brother wants to get a grab. No, I'm playing, I'm playing. I have no problem with this one. It's a single person who is the artist and a single person who is the person paying for the photos. That's perfectly fine. Where I have a problem with like, this is when somebody in a relationship, like the young lady mentioned earlier. Can I ever request a music video you made? Hmm. What, what genre of music though? these things and is on the way to getting married and making fun of this man in this situation and i've get it i've dated women who were stands or fans of some people but trust me we have hard conversations about these things beforehand so if i saw any ultraviolet red flags i am dipping out immediately Rap. now she's lucky that she didn't end up just like that girl from early maybe this year i don't know Omale concert don't know. where she went up on stage and freaked on omale and then she got embarrassed because her boyfriend left her at the end of the show which he had every right to do and then she tried to beg kaisen had to be on the platform Platform and that didn't work out but he ended up on the platform the ex-boyfriend and got tons and tons of money of it she's lucky that she didn't end up in this situation and her husband's a dummy for probably going through with it because yeah. that's publicly embarrassing and i don't think that's okay if i one pass is so and so celebrity like call me old-fashioned or call me insecure or whatever but it's like i just find that is so weird that's like kind of disrespectful to your partner it's called emporio marathon if you ever want to if you want to listen whenever okay bad 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 because you're basically saying to your partner, oh, like, I love you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. But I also find this random celebrity really, really hot. And if given the chance, I would totally sleep with them. Yeah. And that's why, that's why, like, anybody with, like, thank Emporio you for the follow. Emporio Music is you, now following. But, like, dog, that's why, like, anybody that's just, like, trying to, they're like, oh, yeah, I, I, I like such and such. And it's a whole celebrity. And it's like, you're weird. You're weird. You, you sitting here in my face trying to tell me like, oh, like I like such and such. And if I was given a chance to do X, Y, and Z with them, I would do it. You're not my, that's not my girl. I don't know what the fuck she's talking about. People who are overly obsessed with celebrities have mental health disorders. Yeah, they do. There is just no way you can be infatuated. With a person that doesn't know you. a human being who 
breathe just like you breathe. Why are you guys overly obsessed yes, with, bro. with these celebrities? Like, put that much time and attention into loving yourself. I was just about to say that. Put that into yourself or, like, in a hobby or something that would actually be better than just, like, feeling over a person that does not know you. They don't know you. They don't even know you exist at all and you're going crazy you're weird just like that one dude that was screaming about Billie eilish and crying his eyes out because Billie eilish something something i don't remember it was a black guy and he was losing his mind and i'm like you over there <laughs> lost me being infatuated with a celebrity or a person with some sort of stature is okay to an extent of course you know having jerseys is fine having posters is fine all these things when are i fine. realize it's not normal to obsess over celebrity men to the point where you are unattracted to everyone else yeah because that's not normal in the in the chances of you meeting them would be like 0.01 and it's like it, it, like bro come on dog but there are people who outwardly and openly cross lines that i personally think is too much if you're to the point where you're saying i would risk my relationship for somebody that is a celebrity then that's where i think things are totally out of pocket especially when you don't know these people we have seen a lot of cases on the internet in 2024 specifically where these celebrities end up being terrible people and people constantly support them without knowing who they are or be the people who are even worse who give some sort of grace for the actions that they did some examples that come to mind are dr disrespect mr beast drake and even r kelly r kelly is what? a crazy example because first and foremost there were a bunch of people who were infatuated with him who allowed their family members to be in his presence knowing what he did and then secondly oh, and probably out. worse is that there were so many people who brushed off the things that he did or the things that he said because of his stature and his name which brings us to the most infatuated celebrity in the wl community and that's who i you know him, you love him. His name is Captain Atlanta Duke Dennis. It's supposed to be like Paul Park. Yeah. Right? Because he's 24. 24 years old. Yeah, yeah, I know. Hey, shut off, bro. Okay, okay, die for like 10 seconds. Okay, right. okay. Hello? <laughs> yeah. Wait, hold on. Let me see that again, bro. Freaked out, bro. Here go Duke. This nigga Duke, bro. Tie shit. What? Yeah. Yeah. Hey man, how are you? I'm good. All the bitches ask for Duke. You got a nigga asking me kayak. It's always a nigga. Hey yo, Kai, where you at? Oh god, funny. No bitches saying yo, yo, where kayak? Yo, look at this nigga, man. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Because all of them in a &P got more than enough motion to pull any bitch they want. That's the funny part. But Kai just like, <laughs> Kai being funny. I got to agree with Kai. And there's some interesting things about these dynamics. <laughs> he said, it's always a nigga actor. Where about. Kai at? Specifically when there is this male content creator or male celebrity in question, it almost seems as if women get this pass or green light to do sexual. Yeah, and they just start losing their minds, bro. They think just because he got money and everything and then now he just famous, they can just like... You know, he got. Why would he not want me to be all like? It's like because he probably don't want you to be all freaky. Well, you freaky or so. It's perceived to say the most nasty like, and vile things, and not even just say it, but when they interact with these people, sometimes go about doing it. I didn't like how in the first clip that woman decided to invade Duke's Dennis's personal space. Mm -hmm. Now mind you, she could have been inebriated or intoxicated, but we've seen clips like this on the internet before, where women just feel like they can impede on people's personal space, do or say and then let it and let. The the roles be reversed bro twitter would have that nigga getting ready to get fucking blown up to smithereens they'll have that nigga's address they'll have where he works they'll have they'll have everything about that dude his family they got the ancestry loaded up they got how what what, what religion he is they got what type of ethnicity where he from they they it's like what Say nasty things when it comes to the celebrities in our lives just because they are women. I think a lot of times they get a pass in that regard when any other situation we would call it what it is, harassment. 
And to a different extent, Kai Sinat sees the same sort of obsession when it comes to his stardom and his fame. I mean, look at the situation when he had his NYC takeover, the fact that people felt like they could impede his personal space. It goes. I'm not gonna lie. And the only scary thing about this is because people watch you so much, they start to think they know you. I mean, in, in a way, they do, because when you put yourself out there like that and you put yourself out there for a very long time and you, you know, do it for a long time and people have been watching you for a very long time, it's almost like they do, but they don't. That's the thing. So it's like, eh goes beyond a personal crush or some sort of lovey-dovey type situation but just the overall obsession with celebrities in today's day and age is crazy the lady earlier in the video mentioned that having some sort of obsession with a celebrity could be classified as a mental illness and i gotta agree there's a certain demographic that loves a female rap artist that i won't dare say the name of because hey they might fire me and me or whatever the case may be but there's been studies that show that those who have obsessions with celebrities have a lower intelligence level and perform pretty badly on cognitive tests so there may be a little bit something to them and then there are right why he put that in there bro if studies do show that people that you know obsess over celebrities do tend to be slightly less smarter than the average human it's like <laughs> just take it to the whole next level and this is why i'm very weary about this topic because we see how the impacts of social media are affecting kids today but we've seen situations where people take this celebrity obsession and do crazy things to said celebrities hell we had a whole president shot over an obsession with celebrities in the past but there was a barb who actually tried to sue Nicki minaj for five million dollars for emotional damage when that in fact barb was actually harassing Nicki minaj himself Nikki's social media manager took to Twitter to speak up about this and claimed that he allegedly has a history of stalking the rapper, following her at all of her shows, and even going as far as to book hotel rooms in the same hotels that she stays at. Look, I can't save the past generations because I think what a lot of celebrities have shown in these recent years is that they don't honestly align with your views. They don't honestly care about your opinions or your feelings. And honestly, they see you as just nothing but a debit card. It dropped again. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro. It's this Wi-Fi, bro. I I don't even know. It's it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Like <laughs> it's bad. It hasn't been this bad before. I don't really know how to. I don't even know how to like troubleshoot this shit. But damn hard to swipe but thank so you for coming back bro. Their lavish like, lifestyles you. or somebody to prey on so i don't understand why people are still looking into Nicki minaj kanye west r kelly or any of these other celebrities as some people to be obsessed with but specifically to the younger demographics i would love to say hey do not fall into these traps of the old because all this stuff is totally weird and parents please watch what your kids consume or the young people in your life consume i'm not gonna 100 percent put this type of lifestyle on these people especially in today's day and age he said i'm just chilling ain't shit going on tonight <laughs> yeah i feel that bro i feel that celebrities do a really good job of creating parasocial relationship when it comes to the content creator and the people consuming the content themselves so then it becomes hard to separate what is not and is real life for a lot of these young people and that's where you see a lot of people spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on subs during somebody's subathon last week whoa whoa whoa, whoa. who's gifting wait shut the fuck up Tacky too flash, you get the 250,000? Wait, am I bugging? Yo, we I'm I'm sorry. 250k? You mean a quarter of a million dollars? Um I must be tripping. No. 250k? No way. Where's the alerts, gang? Why is nobody 250,000? What the fuck? Yo, yeah, like you don't got a limit on your shit, bro. And yeah, bro, facts. How the fuck did two hundred fifty thousand dollars clear? What, nigga? That's, bro. That is like, that's that's a fucking car. That's more than a car. That's a, nigga. That's an apartment plus a car plus a house. I don't even know. You shit. How the fuck you get that? What? $250,000, bruh. So, yeah, bro, I was, I was gonna say the same thing. That's a whole house. Like, you... What? First of all, I hope he refunded them. I hope Kai refunded them. Because I... 
if I was in his position, bro, I can't. I can't. Two fifty is crazy. That's not even a donation, bro. You should go if you got money like that, where you can give someone two fifty k. You're giving two hundred fifty thousand dollars to another millionaire. If you got that much bread, bro, just go go do something better with it. Like he, I don't know, like. Everybody who is dropping this much, yo, I appreciate y'all niggas. You guys are fucking amazing. I fucking love y'all niggas. Tacky too flashy. Give your mother back the fucking card. Give your mother back the fucking card. And even though that was a little... Nah. I... Damn. Nah, that don't even sit right with me, bro. I'm gonna be honest. 250 crazy. Everybody laughed it off and thought it was a quirky internet moment, but the whole time I'm thinking to myself, where the hell is this kid's mom? They should not be so engaged with Kai Sinat where this person can send that type of money to somebody. And definitely, if you're... I don't get... If he's able to just send money like that, and that's just in her card, they got bread, bro. They got money. They got some serious money, too. Because if she got 250K in the checking, and that... Clearly wasn't the max because it didn't get maxed out or it, it didn't nothing happen or from what you can see from what we can see and it just went through normally. Fuck like All right, what? Man, if you enjoyed that video, make sure to check out another video like that. You know, just click it. Click it right here. You don't you don't got a sub or nothing, bro. I'm making it easy. Just just click the video. It's on your screen already. Might as well. Go ahead. Click it.